Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday, February 2nd, and we are doing a cleaning day today. So I thought I would just kind of start this vlog off um, and do a little bit of a clean with me for you guys. I already cleaned our showers um, and I'm getting some stuff. Oh gosh, I'm getting some stuff out to clean the bathrooms. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna start with the bathroom in our room and then just slowly work to this end of the house. So I already cleaned our showers, which I didn't vlog because, and let me know if you guys are the same, but whenever I clean our showers, I just get completely butt ass naked. <laughs> I just think it's so much easier to like clean the showers like with no clothes on, especially, it definitely depends on what you're using to clean your showers because I definitely have had that before where I have cleaned with certain cleaning products that have like bleach in them and I've ruined clothes actually. So yeah, I just think it's a lot easier to just like strip down, get in the showers and then clean them. So that's already done. But yeah, that's basically it. So let's go ahead and get our cleaning started.
happy Saturday afternoon. It is Saturday, February 17th. Um, it is a little before 3.30 and I thought I would just start vlogging um, kind of as I start to get ready for the night. So tonight, me, Luke, my sister and her boyfriend are going to a 2000s night which I'm super excited about. It's gonna be pretty similar to like the disco, the EDM nights that we went to. Um, I don't know if I vlogged the other ones that me and Luke have been to, but me and Luke have been to like an 80s night, a 90s night. Um, so now they're doing a 2000s night. So it's just gonna be, you know, a dance party, I guess, with the DJ and drinks and all that sort of stuff. So that's what we're doing tonight. And I still have to figure out what I'm going to wear. I already know what pants I'm going to wear, which are like my oversized holy jeans. And I just have to figure out what shirt I want to wear with them. I'm going to try to keep things as 2000-esque as I can, but I really don't know if I have anything. I do have a brass t-shirt, which I was going to try to wear. Um, but I just realized that it's in the dirty clothes and it is not going to be clean and ready by the time, you know, we leave her tonight. So that was a fail on my part. Um, so now I need to try to figure out what I'm going to wear. I don't know if I'm just going to wear like a plain tank top. I know I do have a gray one that has like rhinestones all over it. I could definitely do that one. I was almost thinking about wearing like my Hercules t-shirt, which that one I'm kind of going back and forth on because I feel like Disney is very like... I wouldn't say it's not 2000s, but I think more of like the 90s and stuff like that. And especially Hercules. I'm pretty sure that came out some sort somewhere in the 90s. So yeah, I'm just going to pretty much be going through my closet and trying to figure out what I'm going to wear tonight. Um, I'm going to do something very cute with my hair, very 2000s. I have the butterfly clips. So yeah, I thought I would just start vlogging and kind of vlog as I get ready. So I'll try to turn you guys a little bit. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> So I'm just going to pretty much pull out anything that I see that I think would go good for like a 2000s night. I was looking online like if there was anything I wanted to buy for tonight and I did find a couple options but honestly I just didn't want to spend the money on it. So that's okay. It's not the end of the world if I'm not going to look like the most you know, 2000s-esque person there. See, this is the Hercules shirt I thought about wearing. I don't really know. I'll set it to the side as an option. I do even have this shirt, which I don't know. Is this 2000s? I'll keep it out as an option. And then here is the tank top I have. It's just a plain tank top, but it does have rhinestones all over it. So I thought that this would make a good option. Of course it is winter here and it is freezing outside so I'm definitely gonna have to bring my winter coat. Um, I do have some jean jackets. I don't know. I almost thought about just wearing those so I don't have to bring my winter coat but I think it's honestly so cold. I don't think I could get away with that and I don't know if I really want to go you know jean on jean for tonight. And then I also just thought about wearing like this little cropped tank top as well. So those are the four options that I have. Gosh, I feel like I need to get better at going live or something because that would be nice if you guys would be able to help me out in real time. But since this night will be long gone, done and over with by the time this vlog goes up, giving me your opinion doesn't really help. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna start doing my hair and makeup quite yet. I might go outside. Um, with Sebastian for a little bit, just play. I also have no idea what I'm gonna do with my makeup, but whatever, when I'm getting ready, either during my makeup or during my hair, um, I'll come back and vlog for you all. All right, here is the fit tonight. Obviously I'm not gonna wear my slippers. I'm gonna wear some white tennis shoes, but here are the pants. I just decided on this talk, um, talkly, <laughs> sparkly tank top. I don't know, it's the best we could do best I could do with what I had available. Um, and then here's just the makeup. Pretty similar to how I usually always do my makeup, except I did, did all sparkly, shimmery eyeshadows. Um, and then here is what the hair looks like. So yeah, so I apologize. I didn't vlog me actually getting ready because I decided to 
do a reel for this look. Um, so follow me on Instagram if you don't already, because that reel and selfies and all that sort of stuff will be on there. Um, but yeah, I am ready to go. COVID three, Brooke zero. <laughs> Hello everyone. Happy Monday. It is a little after 1230. It is February 26, I think. I am just getting over COVID. I have literally been in bed pretty much since Friday. I was supposed to work this, this weekend, this past weekend. Um, and I started not feeling very good around like Wednesday, Thursday, but I really thought it was just like a regular cold. Like other than being a little stuffed up, um, I felt okay. Um, Thursday night, I was starting to get worse, um, but I was still gonna try to make it to work on Friday. Bad idea. <laughs> I woke up Friday morning and I felt horrible. Like I felt like I was hit by a train and like I still got up I got dressed like I was just gonna try to make it into work because at this point it was a little too late to call in so I was still gonna try to just make it um but yeah the more I was out of bed and just getting ready for work I got that feeling that maybe this isn't just a cold maybe this is COVID because all the other times I've had COVID I always thought it felt like a cold but specifically whenever I would try to do anything or if I was doing anything in like a vertical position, I just felt horrible. Like I just felt insanely like more sick anytime I was like up and about just doing anything, even something as little as like getting ready, putting a little bit of makeup on. Um, I just felt horrible. I was getting super nauseous, dizzy, I was so incredibly stuffed up, like it was horrible. So I ended up calling in, which I felt horrible about because it was very late. Um, I called in like 40 minutes before I was even supposed to be at work, which I feel horrible about. I already have like a ton of guilt just calling into work in general. Yeah, I, I knew there was no way I was gonna be able to make it a full day, so I'm, I, in some sense, I am really happy I called him because I felt horrible. And Friday and Saturday were definitely the worst days. Um, and I, yeah, I pretty much, I was just in bed, down for the count, just sleeping as much as I could um, <clears throat> and just kind of laying in bed. And yeah, I was starting to feel a little bit better yesterday, specifically yesterday evening. Um, and today I'm feeling a lot better. Still stuffed up, still have a little bit of a cough. Um, I did take another, oh, I didn't even say that. Um, so Friday when I called in, I ended up taking a COVID test because we have some at-home ones here. So I took a COVID test and that was like, raging positive like it showed positive right away um so yeah I ended up testing because I kind of had that feeling of just getting ready and just how awful I felt I just had that feeling like okay I think this might be COVID and not just a regular cold so that's why I ended up testing um and because of that at least at my work I could have swore that the policy or protocols changed like the CDC protocols that as long as you weren't having like a fever, you could still go to work. But my work does not have that policy. I had to be off mandatory for five days. Um, so even though I'm feeling a little bit better today and my test was negative um, and I'm not running a fever, I had like a low grade one on Friday. It was like 99.4 was the highest my temperature ever got. Yeah, even though I'm not running a fever and my test was negative, I am not allowed back at work until 
Wednesday. So that's kind of where we're at. So yeah, I tested again this morning because I was feeling a lot better and that test was negative. So I pretty much just got up this morning. I've been sleeping in. I usually like to set alarms every morning, even days that I'm off, just because if I don't, I'll just like sleep and I hate it. I just don't like sleeping in. I like sleeping in because I love sleeping, but at the same time I don't because I just feel like it just wastes my whole day. Um, so yeah, I slept in, I got up a little after 10 and then I took a shower. I picked some things up in the kitchen. Like I had to empty our dishwasher. There was dirty dishes in the sink. Um, so took care of the clean dishes, took care of the dirty dishes. And then, um, I got started on dinner. We're doing like a roast in, um, our crock pot. Um, and then me and Sebastian went out back and then that's kind of where we're at now. Also, side note, if you're seeing anything hanging from my nose, I swear it's not a booger. <laughs> my nose is just so incredibly raw from, you know, the past few days of constantly blowing my nose. So it's just very like dry and irritated. Um, I keep putting like aquaphor and lotion on it, but it's just like so dry. My skin just instantly um, absorbs it and I just have a lot of like peeling skin around my nose so if you see any of that don't mind that um and yeah so it's bringing us to now and I thought I would unbox a package with you guys I made a couple different orders um I made an order with Grove for just some like cleaning supplies so that's what I wanted to unbox with you guys today. Um, I also did just get an e.l.f. cosmetics package in the mail, which I thought about unboxing in this vlog, but I may do one of two things. I'll probably do a poll on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I would definitely make sure to follow me on there just to kind of get a better idea of what you guys would prefer. Like if you want me to just show you everything I got, do a try on in a vlog, or if you want me to do like um, a whole separate haul video so yeah i just got that and yeah so i guess we'll just go ahead and start unboxing the grove package got the box right here i just have it on a stool um i just need to get something to open it oh this is so funny they always write like oh this is a very dull night um they always write like little messages on the box like this one right here says brooke we love you like God, thank you. Oh my gosh. And I'll have to insert some photos of the elf package that I got. Like I literally just got it in the mail. Um, I don't know how to shut these things. Oh, okay. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> but anyways, I'll have to insert some photos of the elf, the packaging that I got my elf stuff in. There was like a huge hole ripped in it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like who like sends packages like this? Like I haven't counted yet if everything is in there because I think in total I got like 23 items. Um, so I haven't counted yet to see if everything's in there, but I'm just like, what the hell? Like, I don't know. I'm so nervous that there is going to be some things missing because it's just like a huge hole that was ripped in the packaging. Oh my God. I can just smell the cleaning items, but in a good way. That's also something with me, which I feel like I'm very thankful for. So I have had COVID three times and each time I have never lost my um, smell or taste. And I also never got, um, I can never remember the name of it, but it's like my worst nightmare, but it's like where you, you taste something and it just tastes like garbage. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, thankfully that has never happened to me either because I feel like that would be way, way worse than like losing your taste or smell. Um, so yeah, thankfully I still have those but and i cannot remember if i really had this the other times i had covid i feel like maybe i have but i feel like this time is way worse um i just have zero appetite like the past few days i have been making myself eat 
because obviously you need to eat, but I'm just not hungry. Like, and even at night where if I feel like maybe I am a little bit hungry, I'll try to have a snack, but like, I'll take a couple bites out of like my Oreos or like chips and I'm just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like, not that it tastes different or tastes bad. It's not like making me nauseous. I just have zero appetite where I just, I don't want food. Like, I don't want it. So that's kind of annoying because it's like, I'm someone that loves to eat, but I just, I don't want food. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's going on one o'clock and I have not ate today. And like, my brain is like, you need to eat something. Like we need to have some breakfast. Like you can have some eggs, your favorite. Like I love having my egg sandwiches in the morning, but like, I don't want it. Like I just, I don't want anything. Like it's so weird. All right, anyways, so I'll kind of just start pulling things out at random. I'll start with this up top. So these are just some facial rounds. It comes with a pack of seven. They're reusable. So I like to use them with like my skincare each night. Like I like to put like my toner on them. And yeah, so here's the first thing here. One of the other things I needed was just a dish brush. And then I also got some replacement heads for it. These are like one of my favorite things from Grove. I just really like them. I actually already have the handle. That's kind of the nice thing is you can just buy this one time and then you can just replace these. These come, there's like a little tab down here that you push down and these slide right off. I decided to get a new handle just because the one I have, I feel like the grooves on the inside that kind of holds the head in place. I feel like it's getting loose or broken. I don't really know. Just I just noticed when I was doing dishes and I was like scrubbing, the head just kept coming off on its own. And so, yeah, I didn't know if it was broken or not. So I just thought if I'm making this order, I'm just gonna buy a whole new handle and then I'll make sure to get some replacement heads. I picked up some Kleenexes. Are these the Kleenexes? Yes, um, cause we were out, so. I picked up, I believe, four boxes of tissues. I picked up some more of this Bonamy, like, uh, cleaning powder stuff. I bought this once before. I would say it was kind of 50-50. I wouldn't say I loved it, but I also wouldn't say I hate it. Um, I have another powder cleaner that I got from Grove that I feel like I like better but I decided to go with the bottomy again, just to give it another try, mainly because with this stuff compared to the other stuff that I have, you get a lot more with the bottomy and it's way cheaper than the other stuff I have. I wanna say this is like eight or nine bucks cheaper. So just to save a little bit of extra money, um, I just decided to go with this again. And I really wanted to get it another try because I feel like this stuff has really good reviews. Um, and yeah, this stuff you can use everywhere. You can use it in your bathrooms to clean your sinks, showers, you can use it in your kitchen. It even says you can use it like on cookware. Like it's just one of those like multi-purpose cleaners. I specifically like to use these for, mainly for our kitchen sink. I just feel like it's a lot easier when cleaning our kitchen sink to just kind of, you know, sprinkle the powder everywhere and then scrub it with the sponge. I have used these on our shower before as well. I got a couple things of bath salts because Luke specifically loves taking baths. So I always try to have these on hand for him. So I have the peppermint essential oil one and then the lavender essential oil one. Next thing here, I think this is just some toilet paper. Oh my gosh, and the box is ruined. What is with all my packages getting ruined? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so here is just some toilet paper. I have not tried the toilet paper from Grove yet. I've gotten paper towels and Kleenexes from them before, uh, but I just noticed we were getting kind of low on toilet paper. So I wanted to go ahead and just pick some up from Grove just to try it. And since I was already making an order anyways, so yeah, we'll have to see how I like it. Since I'm a female, I'm hoping that this is not the kind of toilet paper that just falls apart and you're left with a bunch of little crumbs behind. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. And then I think that's all I ordered. There's just a bunch of coupons at the bottom here. Um, and then the last thing that I got, 
um, that I got for free. Usually Grove is really good about if you spend a certain amount of money, you'll get like free shipping or you can pick out a free gift. Um, so one of the free gifts that I ended up picking up were these reusable sandwich bags. Originally, I wasn't a big fan of like any of like the free gifts that they had. And now I can't remember what the other options were, but I ended up going with these because I thought, I thought these were the best options, but I really didn't want these either. But now that I'm seeing them in person, I am kind of excited. Like I am kind of happy that I did decide to pick these as my free gift. And they're actually really cute and pretty big. Like when I was thinking sandwich bags, I was thinking they were gonna be like a lot smaller. I don't know, they're kind of cute with like the lemon print. So yeah, I'll definitely have to try these out. And that is everything that I picked up from Grove. I think that's about it for today. And I think this is where I want to end this vlog. I was debating if I wanted to combine February and March because I feel like I didn't vlog too much this month. Every time I vlog, like, I always tell myself, like, stop saying that, like, haven't vlogged that much or, you know, I just feel like I constantly sound like a broken record and I feel like I say the same thing every freaking vlog. So I always try to catch myself, but I do it every time. So I apologize if I sound like really annoying and that I say the same things every vlog, but it's the truth. I feel like I just didn't do too much this month, but at the same time, I feel like we have some few, we have a few things going on next month, like hockey games and another music night. I don't want to give it too much away. Um, it's my birthday month, so we'll be doing things for my birthday. Maybe because we do have a few things going on next month, maybe I'll just kind of end this vlog here um, and then we will start fresh with a new vlog for March. Oh my God, Sebastian looks so cute. He's sleeping like in the sun. I don't know. I'm gonna probably grab this and as soon as I show you guys, he's gonna move, but. Look how cute he is. He's a sweetie. But anyways, um, so yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, I think the next time I will vlog, of course, that'll be in next month's vlog, but I go back to work Wednesday, so I'll work Wednesday and Thursday. I have a couple of appointments Friday. So I think that pr that will be pretty much it for Friday. I don't really have anything else going on. And then Saturday, we are going to our Grand Rapids Griffins hockey game with Luke. So we're doing that Saturday. And yeah, um, again, I keep thinking about like, I should probably eat something, but I'm just not hungry. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I'll probably just chill. Um, thankfully, Luke did a lot of cleaning yesterday. So, um, other than our bedroom, because that's where I've been like hiding out, um, our bedroom's a disaster, but thankfully everything else in the house is pretty, you know, picked up and clean and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to try to take it easy, even though I'm feeling a lot better. I don't want to push myself too hard. Um, so I'll probably just do a little things here and there. I was going to wash all of our bedding. Luke could come back upstairs. He's been sleeping downstairs because obviously I've been sick and he doesn't want to get sick. Um, but I talked to him, um, earlier today, just letting him know, like, hey, like, I'm feeling better, like, my test was negative, like, if you want, I'll work on, you know, cleaning him, our bedroom and washing all the bedding so you can come upstairs, and he was like, mm, no, because you're still coughing, so I'm gonna stay downstairs, so maybe I'll just work on all of our bedding and cleaning and stuff tomorrow before I go back to work on Wednesday. I've been getting back into Love is Blind. I have not started season six yet, so maybe I'll do that today. Um, but I finished watching season five yesterday, which I don't know. I feel like season five was kind of a disappointment, like maybe because there just wasn't as many couples that ended up getting engaged and then married. And I feel like it was almost kind of like a fail of an experiment. Um, but it was still a good season with a lot of like twists and turns and things like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me see if I can try to end this vlog again. I feel like I said like, bye like five minutes ago, but whatever. Um, so yes, again, if you enjoyed this vlog, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all again in next month's vlog. Bye.